up good people i'm elena from financial demix where i give you the tips and tools to manage your money increase your savings and your income and decrease your debt and today we're talking about savings challenges that can make it easier for you to save money So every year I challenge myself to save more money and typically I set up my own savings challenge. But what I've realized from talking to others is, is that they feel like they have to set up a savings challenge at like the beginning of the year, the beginning of the month or beginning of a quarter and that's just not true. You can start a savings challenge anytime you're ready. So I'm gonna give you six savings challenges to help you build your savings account. Okay, so the first one is not really a challenge, but you can make it one. And that is to save all of your change. So as a regular habit, I actually save any change that I receive when I use cash. And I don't use cash that often, but there are multiple times during the year where I'm using cash. So typically at the end of the year, I have over a hundred dollars in change. Now, you can take that change and you can roll it yourself. Typically you can get like those um, coin rollers from like Walmart or the Dollar Tree and you could take it to your bank. I'm not that disciplined, I'm a little lazy, so I do take it to the Coinstar machine. I personally feel like my time is worth that savers charge that they take, but if you wanna make sure all your money gets into your account, then you can use those coin roller sleeves. Once I get my money um, from the cashier, cause normally you get a receipt and you go to the cashier, I will go and normally stick that money into my savings. The next challenge is the $5 challenge. So with this challenge, every time you receive $5, then you can take that money and you can either stick it in a jar, stick it in a box, wherever you decide you want to stick it. Make sure that you're disciplined not to dip into your box, but you can save that money and you do it for the year and see how much money you have at the end of the year. I've seen so many people save so much using this challenge. And if you think $5 might be too hard or you wanna take it, take it a little step up, you can do the dollar challenge because most of the time when you're getting change after breaking a big bill, you're guaranteed to get a dollar. It's very rare that you don't. So you can also do the dollar challenge where every dollar that you actually receive, you actually save those dollars. You can also do a no spend challenge. I mentioned this challenge in my video, the 20 ways to save more money, which I will link here. With the no spend challenge, you actually decide that you're not going to spend any extra money, either for a day, a week, or some people have even gone for a whole month. And so you're only buying necessities like groceries and things like that and just paying for your bills. So you can do that challenge. Now, the big thing with that challenge is that the stuff that you usually will buy, you need to take the money that you actually save and put it into your savings. Do not leave it in your checking account. The next challenge is the Booster Bank Challenge. That is actually my personal challenge. It is on my website, financialdemics.com, and I'll leave a link to it below. So I'm basically helping you find $100 in your account. So if you're looking for ways to see how you can save more money just in your normal day-to-day -day life, then check out my Booster Bank Challenge. The next challenge I'm gonna mention is the ever so popular 52 week challenge. With that challenge, you basically start at the beginning of the year with a dollar and each week you add a dollar to it. So basically week one is a dollar, week two is two, week three is three, and you go all the way up to $52. At the end of the year, you should be able to save $1,378, which is a really good way to actually save extra money. And you can also choose to do it the reverse way where you start with $52 and go all the way down to a dollar. Or some people have even just switched it up and they would just pick an amount 
each week based off of that list until they got to the end. So you have a little bit of variety. Also with the 52 week challenge, there are people who have converted it into a 26 week challenge just because they're paid bi-weekly. It just makes it a little bit easier to save money. So you can also do that and you still will get to the same $1,378. The next challenge is the 12 week challenge. This is another challenge that I have set up through Financial Demix. With this challenge, you have 12 weeks and you can either save $300, $500, or $1,000. It just depends on your goal. And it's a great challenge to do quarterly. So it gives you time to actually reset because sometimes people, they just need a little break. And so I like to give those options because maybe in the first quarter you decide you want to save 500, maybe in the second quarter, because it's going into summer, you decide you want to save $300 and then near the end of the year, you're, you're going to save a thousand dollars. So I like to give options. And so if you're interested in those challenge printables, then you definitely can click on the link below and you're able to get that information. So you can either, so you can save for 12 weeks and pick the amount that you so you'll have the option to save for 12 weeks and save the amount that you wanna save. In the comments below, let me know which challenge you're gonna actually do. I think I'm gonna jump on a 12 week challenge right now. I got some things I wanna save up for and so might as well be intentional about it. If you enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up so it'll get out to more people. And if you have not subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. And I will see you next time with an all new video.